What is going on Lego Investors? So today we're going to talk about some Lego sales that are going on on Lego.com. So if you're not aware, you should check out Lego.com, visit their sales section, check out what's going on. I'm only going to go over a few today. I'll probably make a video tomorrow or the next day going over all the sales, but I want people to be aware of the current sales that I really, really like. So first up, we have Battle of Endor Heroes. So if you're not aware, this set is a awesome, awesome set. And a lot of investors really believe in this set. I think this set will do awesome. For $23.99, this is a great price. There is a risk with this set that you should be aware of. That if LEGO individually releases these, releases these in the future, that it will hurt this set. And there's a good chance that they will. But I'm hoping one or two characters remain unique. And I'm really hoping it's Leia. But for $23.99, absolutely solid. And I want you to be aware of what they're selling for on eBay right now. And this makes me want to go out tomorrow and buy some more from my Lego store. So I am envious of people that live and work near a Lego store. It is very hard to get Legos or Lego from the store. And that's why I really, really like Brickheads because they're usually unique uh, Lego store exclusives and they're just harder to get so you have a lot less inventory and a lot of investors just pass it up because it's just it's really really hard to make a trip out there so when I go I have to make sure I I have a lot of money that I could spend at the store to make it worth it but if I lived next or worked to work near a Lego store I would absolutely be buying brick heads every single day so look right now We've got it going for $23.99 and it is selling for $41.99 on eBay. And then we got $28, $38, this one's a multi-pack, so $29, $48, $29, $55, it, the absolutely great prices. We are in the profit already. So if you sell online, you can make some decent money right now. I, I would probably, if I could sell it for $45, I'd probably take some quick profits. But I sell locally, so I'm going to hold on to mine for at least a year. But I definitely believe I'll be able to sell quite a bit of these sets locally. Selling locally is a lot harder than online. Your market, your marketplace and sale pool is really, really small. But I, have, I, I think there's going to be no problem selling these sets. But this is really, really great that we are seeing this set go for so high. I really think this set will hit anywhere from 60 to 80 and if they do not remake any of these minifigures we could see it go past 100 so it's really really awesome that it's already selling for 54 65 dollars this tells me it's going to be a grand slam but we'll have to wait and see until it officially sells out from the lego store but i'm going to try and make a run within the next few days to get some more so next up is Let's see, we've got, there's another Brickheads that I wanted people to be aware of. Oh, and just really quick, why I love Brickheads is one, because they're Lego store exclusives, typically, and they have a short shelf life. Typically, they're six to nine months, and that is really great for investing. And they, the retail price is a great entry point. So typically, $9.99 for single packs, multi-packs, you might get $15 or $20, depending on the side. That is all great. It it does not cost a lot of money to build an inventory of 100, but it's just a lot harder to get. But look at these prices. Boba Fett, nine, $10, a value of 74. The uh, Chewbacca, $10, value of 60. I think the Tuscan Raider is gonna do absolutely awesome. Check out my videos. I'm probably gonna make some more videos on him. Absolutely awesome. Han Solo, $10, value of 34. Kylo Ren, $10, 22 So Brickheads have an absolute history of doing awesome, and they're growing in popularity more and more every day. A lot of people are just wanting to collect them all, kind of like Pokemon. So next up is uh, be, be aware that Scrooge, McDuck, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, they did raise the price on this. It's still at a sale, but they have raised the price. I would avoid this at $17.49. Wait till it goes on a deeper discount, which there's a good chance it could but if you're just buying them then maybe I don't know you'd have to do some deep decision making on that whether you like it at 17 I do not I would poss possibly wait 
And even if I missed out completely, I, I would wait on that set. But the Hun- Disney Hunter Celebration is still $23.99. A lot of investors believe this set is going to do awesome. I think it will do awesome. But again, with multi-packs, it's extremely risky for Brickheads because they will remake these sets individually in the future. I am sure of it. It's just unknown when. And even if they did down the line, $23.99 is a great price. So you're looking at $10 bucks a piece per, per unit. You're you're in the money right there. But I specifically wanted to make this video for Daisy Duck to let people know it's six ninety nine. That is a great price. This is Black Friday prices, and you should just kind of be aware of the Disney brickheads. We've had some grand slams, and I always compare this one to uh, the Minnie Mouse brickhead. I I I really want this set to just do even a portion of what Minnie Mouse did. Minnie Mouse has done insane. The retail price is $10 with a value of $99. And that has went up from when I made my last video. And just Daisy Duck, I think, is going to do fairly decent. I think probably it's going to be around a $30 set. If it does really well, it'll do $40. But Donald Duck has been doing okay so far. A lot of people passed passed up Daisy Duck, and they went for Donald Duck. That's why Donald Duck sold out so so fast but i'm really hoping that you know daisy duck is is the clear winner in the end because people were focusing on donald duck but donald duck is stronger in my opinion but i think when it comes down to inventory i i think it will come down to daisy duck in the end we'll have less inventory compared to donald duck so let's let's see how donald duck is doing on ebay right now so we've got 14.99 15 1899 $18.99, $18, $19.99. So honestly, he's doing really well. We're not even, it's not even January January 1st yet. And he, they're, he's already pulling in almost double his price. So that is a really good sign. In a year, I think it's going to be closer to 30 And I think Daisy Duck is going to be the same way. So I'm really, really hoping on that. And I just want you to be aware that is on sale for $6.99, solid, solid price. I would buy as many as I could. I am buying as many as I can. I've, I've got quite a bit already. I'm trying to pick up some more. Whenever I go to the Lego store, I try to buy Battle of Endor Heroes, Daisy Duck, uh, Disney Hunter Celebration, I'll buy a few. I won't, I typically won't buy five of them. I'll just buy two at a time, but then I try and pick up the Tusken Raider. Yes, the Tuscan Raider I have faith in next year is going to do absolutely awesome. But let's see if we've got any other sets. Oh yeah, so Goofy and Pluto, 1049 I think is a great price. But Goofy and Pluto have kind of been out for quite a while, and they're just not popular. I think it, I think they've just been out for so long that it's really going to take a long time for this set to hit a profit. So, but for 1049 I, I like that price. I honestly do. I can see the selling for twenty dollars, no problem. But it it is a time game with Goofy and Pluto. But that is a solid price. Just be aware he's been out a lot longer than the others, if I remember correctly from my video. I could be wrong, but check out my video if you want to find out more about that. But Daisy Duck is the clear winner compared to the two. Even though I think Goofy and Pluto are, I want to say more Daisy and Donald Duck are known, but I think. When I talk to people, Goofy, Goofy in general is just a more loved character because they're just like greater movies. The movies are absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, that's my opinion on Goofy. I don't know if we have any more. Like I said, I'm going to make another video on all these sales really, really soon. But I just wanted, wanted you to be aware that we got some pretty decent sales on some Brickheads. And hopefully Daisy Duck sells out. I'm really, really hoping because we've seen, uh, I want to say three or four sales for Daisy Duck so far. I, I'm I'm getting concerned. If if she does not sell out after the sale, I might be a little worried. We're probably going to go into January, probably about February or March, where she might not sell out. Or she could get extended. You never know. That's the possibility with Brickheads. You never know until it officially hits the retirement list. And when I say retirement list, I don't mean the Brick Fanatics. I mean the last chance to buy. Unless we see it on here, it is not official. 
So Lego likes to do that and kind of deter investors and throw them off. Any set could get extended. The Battle of Andor Heroes could get extended, which I'm really, really hoping it doesn't. But this is, a, I think, the number one Star Wars set for 2023. I, it's, it's just absolutely awesome. Not in regards to profit in retirement. I just mean just general awesomeness. It's it's rare. I don't want to say rare. It's it's unique. It's a brickheads, and it's a great entry point with a lot a lot of potential. Again, if they do not remake any of these, this set I think is going to do absolutely phenomenal. So I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the Battle of Endor Heroes and Daisy Duck. How, how do you think those will do? Are you investing in them? Where do you see those in retirement? Uh, I think Daisy Duck, anywhere 30 to 40, Battle of Endor Heroes, 60 to 80, with a potential to go past 100 if they don't remake it. But I am sure they will. Lego will remake at least one of these characters and sell them individually. But I'm fine with that at $23.99. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you as always. So comment down below. It definitely helps the channel and it helps the community. But as always, do your own research. Have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.